Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Sai Recipe. Today, let's begin with a wonderful topic that is vowels and consonants. So, without wasting our time, let's get started. Now, here you might have been hearing the song of alphabets that is A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z These are 26 alphabets of English Moving forward Alphabets are categorized into vowels and consonant Yes note the alphabet Y is vowel as well as the consonant So we will be discussing about alphabet Y later but for now we are going to discuss about the vowels exactly what are vowels there are five vowels those are a e i o and u we can say that y is vowel but it's also consonant right vowels are also known as the super power letters hmm here are the short songs and the learned sounds of each of the vowels First, let me tell you what is a short sound and what is a long sound. Short sound. In short sound, we need not drag the vowel. But in long sound, we need to drag the vowel. Such as in cat. Here we are not dragging the vowel that is A. But in cake, we are dragging the vowel A. So the examples of short sounds of alphabet A are cat and mat. Hmm, examples of long sounds of cake and big uh, long sounds of a are cake and big e jet net are the examples of short sounds of vowel e leaf sleep here as we are dragging the vowel e these are the long sounds examples of alphabet e i fish stick these are the examples of short sounds of alphabet i whereas Kite, right. These are the examples of long sounds of vowel I. O. For the vowel O, we can give the examples of short sounds. Those are pot, top. Long sounds examples of alphabet O are rope, boy. For you, short sounds are sun, jump. Long sounds, cute, uniform, etc. Moving forward, vowels. You might be wondering why are vowels known as the superpower letters? Let me tell you that vowels are known as the superpower letters as there exists no English word without vowels. Now, you might have been observing in the words cry, fly, try, dry, etc. We don't have any vowel. But here, as I said you earlier, Y is acting as the vowel in this situation. Example, angry. Here Y sounds E. But in cry, fly, try, dry, it sounds I. So, we can say that Y is a vowel. Now, let's see some of the examples where we will come to know why do we consider Y as the consonant. So, let's get into it. I hope you are able to see it. Yeah, exactly. Considering Y as a consonant. Yak, yellow. Your Y sounds, yeah. Usually, in the words beginning with Y, Y is a consonant. You, yours, yolk. These all, we can find that Y is the example of consonant in these cases.